What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at three bet pots. Uh, we're going to be playing as the caller most of the time. So let's get started. Uh, probably just a check fold. What do you guys say? Uh, not for that price. Got a call. For that price, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to stick around. Not even. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was a fold like against a normal bet. Against a 1.5, it felt really, really thin. But price to see it calling. What are this? No, surprised to see it folding to this size. Yeah, we need a spade even even against like uh, ah, uh, because the danger is when the eight of spades turns, it's not clean. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so here. We check. We can actually lead. Interesting. Just a fall, yeah. I guess. We need a spade to continue. Yeah. yeah. We saw that before. Oh, now it calls. Surprise! Surprise! Okay, so what was the difference between this board and the last board? The king. The king. The king is the best. King and the ace in the three bet pot are really good for the aggressor, whereas the queen is not so bad. Yeah, we're protected by the fact that we have ace queen here in the high frequency. So see if we make the, the king instead of a queen, all of our pairs are mixing. Now they need like part of the suit, and then I think same behavior with the ace. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, even part and, of the ninth. Most of the time, so. so in three bet pots, the ace or the king, it's really bad for the caller. <laughs> really good for the aggressor. Sure. Recording. Oh. He gets an ace and checks. Yeah, we're going to check anyway. It doesn't matter. Yep, you just lose the pocket nines. Pocket jacks. Get back at me. Okay, check, check on the flop. Now. All right. Check again, I guess. Just check it down. Yeah, like we have lots of aces that we check back on the flop, so we're still here with a better hand than King Queen sometimes. Marginal made. I think we have to call here. I would think so. Marginal made, the bluffs, still ahead of some value. Uh, that's really bad. Hmm. Okay. But we blocked kings. <laughs> Did we block? I don't think we blocked. I thought we had king queen. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you meant blood that. No. So, could this be a check raise? Uh, we're pretty short. We have top pair stack to pot ratio is one. I see us going broke. Okay, so check raise and yeah, everything. Yeah. Kings? Oh, it's Jack. He's... Ooh, big bats. Uh, 
beef stack, three flush, four straight, man. It's just half bat, no? Yeah. On 10 uh, I board, it's the standard size. Am I wrong? Yeah, it should be. Do we want to click here? Make it no. 20? No. I don't see any reason to raise it. You want to you wanna make your flush and either let him pun. Mm -hmm. Like he's not like, like he's sizing up a little bit. Probably a stand, king 10, pocket jacks, maybe some stuff like that. Yeah, pot control. So, I mean, okay. Tell me why you would raise. You can make better hands hold. And there's lots of them out here, right? You have lots of hands that are going to struggle against an overcard turn. And you have barrel ability because you can pick up equity with a combo straight flush draw. Like if you turn six, a seven, a jack or a queen. Okay, I wouldn't raise so. So okay. three that bot. I mean, so the better hands that are folding are like. Uh... King Queen of Diamonds. Yeah. King Queen of Diamonds, right? King Jack off. Yeah. <clears throat> what is it choosing to put in the raise bucket? A wheel. Would that not draw? Oh, oh, of course. We have an, uh, we have a bunch of wheel stuff here. Yeah. Not first. And not spades. It raises the best ones there. Yeah, they're they're all high. They're all the stuff that we're kind of looking to target his offsuit or his um, clubs and diamonds variety here. It's pretty much really raising pens and jacks and queens. Yeah. A little seven. Oh. Oh yeah. See the this is why I would have check raised. Because this is the type of card we're gonna go broke on. Why would you lead as the caller in a trip that pot here? You think it could be shift enough on a seven? Our ten that we just checked call with became much stronger now. Right, and he's going to check back a lot of two overcard hands. They're going to have robust equity against us when we have a ten. All right, so the ten is stronger. And then, what kind of size do you use? Just small. It seems like a really <clears throat> weird mode. You're trying Did to you? prevent him from polarizing the turn, right? But by facing, like, when you bet this five chip size, you're preventing him from trying to bet 18 chips. So a block bet? Mm -hmm. All right. The, th the 10 is still strong. As long as the 10 stays strong, we're going to bet small. Okay. Weird note. Weird note. <laughs> Raise. Easy call. Or do you just put it in its face? I don't Probably think not. Oh, you do actually. Yeah, your your equity is too strong here. Oops, he has aces. Oh, we got he aces. <laughs> Louis, have you noticed people when you put out a bet of say two big blinds, people are starting to three bet you to three big blinds. It's not even a clickback. I'm seeing that quite commonly. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know how, like, one year ago, no one was 3-bet bluffing. 
Right yeah. now, people are going wild with the but the three bed buttons, like click, 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 click. Yeah, but they're tiny. The bets are tiny. Yeah, as well, four point five. But it's not really people that know what they're doing, unless you're yeah. late, deep in a tournament, like twenty left, thirty left. Unless you're stacked like 20 big blind tree bets, such a like, uh, you need to do it at the end of a tournament. But uh, when it's chippy V, it's like, yeah, people no, are the, doing I'm, too much right now. I think I'm sometimes wondering whether to just click their back, you know. Yeah, it's because they honestly, it's not very strong right now. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like it feels like they're kind of race probing more than yeah erasing. It's like it's a cheap bluff kind of. Okay. <clears throat> like the better the price you're given, the more you're supposed to call. So. Yeah. But I more feel like four betting it's so small. Yeah. I wouldn't play ball too much. Yeah, okay. I'm more like calling a lot. Okay, so we have the five of spades. We're very deep. I think we have to call. Or raise. Uh, I can pair it. Do we have any leads here? I think we could, yeah. Probably. Pre-flop would defend all nine. On the flop would defend all nine. So we have a bunch of them. He doesn't have that many. Well, he's supposed to be bluffing us with his suited nines, right? Ace nine, king nine, and then suited eight. <clears throat> I think we could, but it could be also just a check. Okay. 1%. Oh, boy. Good night, Irene. Yeah, now I just don't fall for that. I think we have to call. Because hmm. he's true betting a lot of like ace king, king queen, queen jack type of stuff that bricks. Sure. Like you said, he also has a lot of suit and nines here. And having a spade is not good here. And then, like if it was a nice high board, king high board would be folding, would be long gone. But now I think, like we need to stick around. Like when That's we call the three bet, we don't have that many suited connectors. We don't have many like uh, interactions here. I think it's a call, but I think it could also be just a fold. Yeah, all is <laughs> torching. Yeah. Yeah, we just have enough tens and sevens that we get to defend that we don't need to defend. This. We don't defend our suited nines against this three bed grid. The nine is pretty bad for us. Uh, of course, it's the bottom of our opening range. Do the nines off suit jacks. That was screwed. Yeah. Uh, Going a little wild here with his man. Yeah. He's eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
actually a pretty short hand. Okay, stop and go here. What? And you call a three bet and then you stop and go. Hmm. Playing against cut off. We have some leads here. Pretty weird. And fold. To one. Hey, sorry. Maybe we need to call, no? No pair, no spade. We just have better stuff to defend here. Nope, still calls. Yeah, yeah it's king, it's queen. I think you just defend like I cards. I guess against this. Maybe a jack we could fold. Not even. That's a tiny bet, yeah. Now a lot less <laughs> interesting. <laughs> all right, all right. He milked us for an extra chip. Yeah. We'd just be gone. Hmm. Half pond, jeez. So it seems to be an easy call to me. Yeah. For the spade, have, yeah. We don't have enough to defend here. I have a spade. So we're trying to hit the deuce or a spade, basically. Now we're already mixing folds. No deuce, no spade. Just done. Louis never folding the deuce. It's coming on the river. We're just never gonna get to see it. No. Jack's really bad for us too. You know, if your opponent plays well, he won't make mistakes. If he doesn't make mistakes, you won't make mistakes. Will your marginal made hand continue. Um always a call here. Not praising enough here, I guess. Uh, probably got a call here. Yeah, we're going to call it down, right? Yeah, we unblock diamonds. Right, we've got equity with the... Uh, That's the worst thing. <laughs> the king and the flush completer. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we ever block? Oh, never mind. Really? Wow. Put it in his face. It seems to be 70 percent. Holy cow. What kind of node do we hit today? <laughs> Eight, seven... Donk jam bottom of range. Hmm. That's the worst one, right? So if yeah, it's the most pair. Wait, seven is the top plus or the top street blocker. So it's choosing the seven over the six. Oh yeah, the straight. Yeah. Mm, jamming. I don't really get it. But... It's probably making him fold some kings and queens. I don't think he was folding aces. I don't think he was folding aces. Okay, so no spade here. What are we going to do? Um, uh, Make this straight? Yeah, that's super power? small. Yeah, I would bet 4.6 here. Hey, and would you bet if it was not a flash card? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's just good for good for us when he checks back that 10-9 with the flush draw pot. He's got a lot of marginal made hands. Okay, so the 7 is actually great. Our, our range is really betting here, pretty robust. Right? Like when he checks a 10 9 board in a three bet pot, flush draw, 
probably doesn't check very much. Okay. All right. All right. And then one more question. If it was just a flashcard, would you do that? Yes. Would you do that on every flashcard? <laughs> Kind of. Yeah, not not so much on like the queen or the jack, right? They're bad for us. Okay. And then it's always like orange, kind of small. So as a taller, a three bed pot like this, when the flush completes, you can lead small. One point twenty five. Don't think we can fall. Ah, double mm. counterfeit. Got a block. Fifteen percent. No, it made I sense, know. right? Like, yeah, the, <laughs> I don't know how you can be getting EV to check here. I guess you can hit a five on the river. For You're on it, Andrew, right? I'm sorry, say. You get EV by not losing any more money. Yeah. I think we <laughs> fold now. We're ready to fold, Scotty, right? Yep. It's over. Oh, the house. So a little checky check. I say we check raise. Do we check raise? In a single raise pot, it would be an easy check raise. Yep. As a caller in a three bet pot, it's at one. Could be an aces. Back to pot is one. We have one of our best value hands to get here with. I like the second best, right? What kind of raise size like this here? Has to be, right? Six. Yeah. I could do a little bit of everything, right? I mean, the, the relative hand strength is so big here. It's, it's just kind of even. You can't make a mistake. Except folding. Fold. So, is there ever a flap we're going to lead on as the caller in the of box? Say not really. I think you have to go back to, yeah, the previous note. Oh. Monotone. Oh. Okay. Uh, because we call so many suited hands. Yeah. We have lots of suited hands. 
So monotone, especially low connected. We can do some shenanigans. And oh, two tone comes in pretty quickly. Okay, so it's like three to a straight. Then this is just like hey. What do you say about this one? And then what do you say about the spade of it? Uh, and we have better stuff to defend than this. Uh, Ace ten of spades. Probably calling. I'd be getting too short to even float it. And this one folds? Yeah, this one folds. Then spades. We need a back door. Yeah. We need a back door to call with it. Did we call all three back doors? Yes. Would would we call with the ace queen there with two overs and no back doors? Think not. But the answer is yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. And you, we could and, lead here a little bit. The the wheel oriented low flush draw board. A little bit of pranking. We don't raise any aces here, right? Um we do have some aces that raise, but this is the bottom of our range. Off the top. I didn't think we have any. Sure, like if we have ace jack here or ace ten, right? We're gonna raise those for sure. Okay. In general, as that color in a three bed, but I don't raise back on bad kind of textures, but he bets so small, right? Yeah, like Ace Jack wants to get it all in here. Just raising a lot. What if you use it like a standard size? Still, what if he sizes up? Even more. Yeah, now it just wants to get it in with an ace and it doesn't care. So there's plenty of raising. Hmm. Five pots one, we have top pair. I think this is probably gonna check jam. I thought about leading small, but yeah, put it just put it in. You wanna put it in? I'm just calling it in the game in general. So okay, so hijack that off, right? Yeah, like we're like if he if he bets river, we're never holding. Right? But he might give up. Sometimes here we might not get the rest of the chips. But do you think he's calling up his give ups here? When he wins? It doesn't matter because we're going to call off whatever he bets on the river. Like he's pretty priced in here, right? With any draw. Right? But say. Say if he has uh, King Nine of Spades, he might just check back room. I'm a little bit torn here. I think maybe I call too much. No, no, okay. Calls just fine. You're probably raising the stronger ones. Yeah, better or worse, kind of. Yeah, A6 is the one that calls the most.
stop. When the flush completes, can we turn small a little bit? Or is it better just to check it out? Because well, that's what we've seen a little bit, right? When the flush completes on the turn, we lead 15% a little bit. I mean, the equity is going to be pretty close. I don't think there's going to be a wrong decision here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The flush completes, we just open jam a lot. I think, yeah. I think we open jam every aces. Open jam range. <laughs> Okay, so it seems to be a really important heuristic, right? When the flush completes, and you're the caller in the three bet plot. He had the exact hand that I was afraid he would check back on the river. King nine. Do you think he folds that king nine on the turn I, to get down? I, I don't know that he folds it because there's both flush draws that haven't completed yet, but I think he almost certainly checks it back on the river. Yeah, especially that river. Yeah. Bold. Maybe not. Bold. What would you do with seven six of hearts? Bold. What about hearts? Call. Bold. You have the world of backdoors call. I think I'm folding cards. Maybe I'm a. You have a double belly buster backdoor. Oh, you need spades. No backdoor to half pot. We're gonna win this one. Blind against blind. <laughs> Here comes a mess. So we raise he call. We raise a three bet we call. Jesus Christ, what happened here? Yeah, he three bets us. I guess we just check. No, we don't. We could lead her extra times. What? No. We're in the trenches. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Oh, we win. Okay. Win. What we win here? We just want to get out of here. Check win. Check lose. So we're calling three bets today. Oh, fun. My favorite. You love to call three bets, huh? Out of position. I love it. Mm, I prefer to be in position, but <laughs> take what I can get. How do you call three bets in position? When Good the point. small blind three bets you? Yeah. When the big blind three bets you? I don't know. And it's only <laughs> against the blind, right? Yeah. But that's frequent. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So call or raise here. Both seem reasonable to me. If we raise... Uh, I mean, this board, you probably want to go big. You probably just 26 it and get in yeah, or jam. This, this is our best value hand. This is the one we want to raise big. You like 26, Pete? Yeah, it's best and vulnerable. I want to go big. Well, what are we afraid of? The spade, we have a spade. The over card really is just a king. What are we afraid of? I'm card checking back the turn. A card coming between the queen and the eight or between the eight and the five? Like, 
He's just going to have a lot of uh, straight completers that are going to come in. Louis, really quick, when you ask what we're afraid of, do you mean in terms of why we want to raise instead of call or why we want to choose the large instead of the small size? Or both? I feel like he's polarized here when we when he three bets and C bets. So when we raise here, he's losing all of his bluffs. We have a pretty strong hand that can capture. And having the spade, we can call it a little bit more. Yeah, but here's the thing. Is he going to jam the turn if he doesn't improve, like pick oh, up equity in some way, or have he, you beat already? He's punting it off right now, right? He three bets, he see bets, he's, he has a forward motion with his chips, right? He's going to... And then if he doesn't, we still have the river to kind of adjust. True, but then you're letting him see two more cards for free. With this hand, I wouldn't mind. But I see raising, I think raising is good, but yeah, I mean, I think there should be a call component still with the Queen of Spades. It is just all in. Okay. Yeah, you have a, you have your best hand that you flat preflop. Uh, it's vulnerable. You're already in a three bet pot. Uh, it's going to be pretty resilient. You want to put in sixty big blinds before the node changes. Would you ro roll over the uh, offsuit ace queen just to see what it what the suit preference is? Oh, it calls more without the. Oh no, sorry, ace of spades, ace spades is the calling. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then the queen of spades is like the the second most. Well, if we have a spade, like we can call it a little bit. Right. So ace of spades trap, queen of spades raise small, no spade jam. It's like the, the motion kind of. And no bit and no check raise large. Nobody check raises large. No, it's check. Yeah, it's jam. effectively a jam. Yeah. So I guess you just put it in. I don't know. Sometimes it likes to do the twenty six fake jam thing. Sometimes it likes to just put it all in. So you put it in with every flush right here. The nut ones, right? Or the combos. So jack nine is the combo. King nine has an over. Yeah, you need an over at least. Okay. But king jack of spades was calling, not jamming. Kind of interesting. It's like one of the ones you kind of protect your call range with. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what is this SBR? So, how yeah. how do we get here? I don't know, man. We we call call the three, three, three bet. You micro three bet us, and we call. There we go. I have to move the thing that says I'm viewing your screen so that I can see the action. And then, yeah, we just... Yeah, we opened, he made it five. Okay, we're 14 equal. That's so funny. It seems to be pretty bad to do that on a king eye board. I would not recommend it, but here we are. We probably have more flushes, right? Yeah. Because he's going to be rebetting like his offsuit long. hands more often. No, you're right. We looked at uh, an aggregated report. The only leads we have is on monotone. Raise call a three bet with Jack Nine suited, and then just donk it in with middle pair is like such a funny line. Like you would immediately <laughs> fish tag this guy if you didn't. If you no, didn't it's really, it's we had really, a gut shot too. It's really just because it's monotone. I love it. <laughs> we check raise or we check call. Mono, we do it because he'll check back a lot. I guess is that like kind of the thing, and we just want to. No, no, no. We're just Make trying sure we're to realizing. scam bet small. Well, if he's scam bet smalling, you can just check jam. There's he's no a three to better. He's going to bet most of the time. Then you check jam. You don't have to donk it. Like, the donk is because he's going to check back, I'm sure. No, no. I don't think so. Go, go take a peek. 
Now I'm intrigued. So this one is 50. I just go to the history for the one that we looked at, the one we just played. Oh, well, it's the same, right? This one is 50. No. Well, I just want to see a strategy on that board. I know. All right, oh, well, so I'll see? find it on my own. See, this is not really monotone anymore. You see it, right? It's more like three connected with a flush draw. But the first one we looked at is really a clear monotone one. Here, but here it's the same idea. It's completed equity. Fourteen. It's showing it that one. What was that? What was it? Selected line is rarely used in GTO. Solution may be inaccurate. <laughs> okay. I got a warning message when trying to enter the tree. Fun. Uh, we raised. Oh, King, King Jack, what mono? Do you remember, Scotty? It's not even there. Not in there. No, I don't remember. I think we're just going to be calling here a lot. <clears throat> Why isn't it there? I'm trying to. All right, it's fine. With... You want to call a lot? I think we should just call it. There's locked up equity. You could have us just absolutely crushed. And right. we probably want to realize another card here, right? With the gut shot and the backdoor flush. Bad gut shot. It's, it's like we're ahead or we're way behind. Right? Because he's got all the king jacks, king tens, ace king. I think this ace is queen. we need to raise, actually. Because in my mind, the bet size is too small. We have that pair. We have a good blocker and a redraw. All right, I have news for you. That sim is broken. That one that you're donking it in. That's that's. I don't trust it at all because it's just completely broken. There is no sim for it. The spot doesn't exist. I go to the ranges tab. Hijack has no range. Yeah. Yeah, it's Wiz is just toying with us here. So don't start doing that in game. Don't start race calling Jack Nine and Don. Wait, wait, wait! Not. You show up after half an hour. We saw a couple of yeah. months before that. I mean, maybe it's, deeper stacked. It's not. It wasn't broken. that first, but yeah, I don't know. We got all the stacked that first. So. All right. I'm just telling Why? you. I'm looking at it now, and it's completely broken. Why is the nine a good blocker? What? Well, we can hit the green and make the straight, right? Yeah, but it's a terrible straight, and it's and you you, you called it a, it it blocks. I mean, it it's a bad gut shot, but you said it was a top pair and a blocker. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to hit the queen. I mean, you yeah. block queen nine, right? Yeah, because you, you block can't have nine. queen nine have immediately. You didn't have queen yeah, nine, but he's not three betting that probably. Yeah. Yeah. maybe a little tiny bit. He's three betting suited ninth against under the gun. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it could be there. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, we know. will it be there? Mm -hmm. Not that much. We'll look at his range. But it's call. interesting he bets tenth here. I wouldn't expect tenth. Get a set of kings. You just want to put a little bit of money in the pot. You want to keep edging the money in. Because remember, mm -hmm. like we're protected by having ace queen here. Right. We both have a lot of ace queen. Well, maybe we even have more. Yeah, we have more East Queen than he does. Yeah. We have Jacks and Tens, so does he. He has Kings we don't. But yeah, yeah, pretty contested board. A lot of... You either have like pocket fives that's in a tough spot when you get a 10th pot bet, or you have something that's like eat trivial continue. So we got the Magic Queen that we didn't really want. Yeah, our hand improved, but... I don't know that we can call. I think it's just a pull. Call one more. Call. When he goes so small, call one more. And, and pray. Pray for an ace. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Donk jam. <laughs> Donk jam. Push him out. Chop it up. You hope he times out. Push him out. Oh, we had him on the turn, actually. Take a look at his range on I'm that lucky. last. So we might have leads here. What do you want to see here, Scotty? Just wanted to see, just just wanted to see not his range, what he does. I just don't think he had the queen nine. 
Mm. Um, just look at flop, Louis. Yeah. yeah, his flop node here. Yeah. He does Ace not. nine, king nine, oh, king not queen nine. nine. Some of your opponents could could choose it, you know. It's like yes. a logical expansion right there. So I think we lead here. We flopped it. Interesting. I think we lead with a lot of our range. No. Wrong. You're going to have some range leads, but not this one. This one's too strong. Yeah. Tiny bit. I don't know what makes you want to lead here. You like saw one thing and it got ingrained in your brain, and now you're trying to do all these weird things. Well, you uh, see, hit. I'm trying to figure out why. Those are low boards, man. We have all the sets and straights, and they don't. Uh oh. Watch out, Danny. What? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to are you, figure out. Are you three betting pocket threes? I'm just trying to figure out. Look, they're all low boards. They're yeah. all six high, seven, eight high. But this all is about, at 100, right? It's all about the flush and the flush draw. No, it's about the, the straights and sets. I mean, on mono boards, yes, the flush comes into play. In three so there's two things here, more... right? Because we got different stack depth, mm -hmm. but we also have different positions. So it could be one of the two. Sorry, sorry to to react like that pete i i don't mean that you're wrong but i think it's like every uh it wasn't only mono boards right so it's not only the flush stuff but a lot of them were two-tone yeah flush draw nature yeah and and like I still the, think the flush sets draws. and straights are the bigger aspect there beautiful when check check on the flop I think we just wanted to get the showdown with this combo, right? It went check check. You gotta put some money in, surely, no? Hmm. We have the we effect. Don't, we don't have a spade, now, most likely. Yeah, bet small, bet four. Let me think. He will protect his flop range with some King X checkbacks for sure. He probably won't check back a flush. He probably won't check back a set. He may have some king jack checkbacks, but like I think we have the best hand overwhelmingly majority of the time here. I would bet bigger actually. I want fold equity with some bluffs, some like ten of spades, something. Good check. Check is good too though. Yeah. I think probably if we check he'll have some lines where he goes like blast blast and we just get the call. Um, but yeah, this is the downside. <laughs> <laughs> block. No, you check or check or block. Yeah. Never. Block. Just check. Okay. He, pretty, he made a pretty reasonable bet. We can easily call. I would fold. <laughs> I don't think you can fold here. I think we. This is a pretty easy call. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. You think it, he would? He, he he'd he'd be betting all a single spades. All right. You think either he'll on the have some or desperation 10. bluffs here in theory. The question is, do you call this bet if he bets forty-five chips? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Not in game, you don't. <laughs> no. Well, if you're playing against me, you are better you can if you if i'm playing against you you can you can bluff me out of the pot not me <laughs> uh, uh yeah no backdoor spades but... spades yeah, kick with the spades easy call think with the spades you still fall do we ah. ever fold on a side boards? No, I hit the fold before. Maybe. You. What do you SPR is like continue? Like uh, something that makes the straight or king queen? The former. I think if he had 50 behind, you call king queen of spades every time. 
but he has 25 behind you, you might just get to fold. Because you're not um, deep enough to like get enough implied odds against his ASEX when you do make your straight or flush. So against 25%, it would be a call. But I guess he still has enough like under pairs that you have two overs. But it's the first hand that is ready to get away as soon as he sides up. Okay. Yeah. And if you go to quarter and you like click it up a depth or two. I did. It's it's oh did you? You mean like go go blocks? a little deeper stacked? Yeah. I think it'll come in more. It'll fill in more as a call the deeper you get. Negative. <laughs> Click it up one more. Negative. <laughs> Not happening. Interesting. Oh. All right. Well, there goes that theory. You prefer how to have like 98. 98 can make a straight here. Why is it better shallower? Because you can hit a king and still go with it? Yeah, like, the, you're... You don't need the implied odds, you just need the high card. Right? Yeah. So, flopping, so turning a king or a queen is better. Yeah, here. okay. 30 big blinds, less. 25. Hmm, yeah, now it's fine. much less. And the difference so between if we play check call yeah. and it's a king and he just like blast blasts, are we just not gonna fold then? Twenty big blinds, pure fold now. And then seventeen for God. So check. Four. Pretty bad board. We got a nice, we gotta continue. Uh, uh anyone anyone feeling the urge? It could be a jack, mm. it could be a heart, it could be a nice. Hmm. Okay, so what are we gonna bluff here, Pete? Maybe you're deep. right. So we're gonna bluff some jack X first and foremost. We're going to bluff some spades. We're going to bluff some aces. What jack x doesn't have a pair with it, though, or a straight already? Like, we may call all of our jack x. We probably don't have jack eight suited here. Maybe we do have some of that would be a good bluff. Yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, I, I think this could bluff. Could come in. Like, you're going to call or raise here, I think. But yeah, you you identified a good one. Like, what? What can we even bluff here if we're not going to bluff this? Like, we need to find some. Yeah. Spades would come first, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah. High-frequency prankage. Ooh. Very good. Yeah, we're, like, a little kind of low in range to call. We do have the back door, but... You get better race here. Mm-hmm. You can make every under pair fold. Yeah. You'd rather raid than fall. Seems yeah. insane to me. To Good lesson for you four. here, Louis. Seems why does this? Why me. does it seem insane? I want to know why does bluffing seem insane to you? Calm down. Did you take your medicine? I have to play the role of Galen today because he's not here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, calm down, both you and it. So Friday, what guys. would you do here, Friday. Louis, if you had Jack Jesus uh, Christ, Arnie. Jack. <laughs> if you had Ace Jack or Jack Nine suited, would you not raise? So in my mind, when it's a three bet pot and it's a king eye board, it's already a, a disaster, right? And then with a queen or a ten, makes his bluff complete. Like if he was bluffing with a jack or like a, with a weak king. So this is for me a disaster in a three bet bomb. How do you how do you like it when you get check raised and you have ace king here? I'm fist bumping <laughs> my if I'm the cutoff, I'm like ha ha ha. <laughs> and then I'm playing really? for facts here. 70 bigs, ace king, no problem. I think I you're sitting there like this MF has pocket tens. 
This guy has ace-jack. This guy has king-queen. Yeah, the more I think about it, we have a lot of two pairs as the caller on this board. We have we have sets here, too. And sets, yeah. Right? And flop straights. Like, ace-king is wetting its pants. <laughs> it gets jack-raised here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They're saying, please, jack. Please, jack. Yeah. Ace king. Okay. It's gonna call. So then, if we play fun. check raise, we should see how we're following up on turns and rivers because that's an important part of like realizing our full EV in that line. So Louis, you're maybe a little hesitant to raise because you look at this board and you think, well, the guy three bed, he's all over this. He yeah. has all of this. Why am I gonna raise him with my crappy whatever? So immediately you get folds from every under pair and probably like ace eight of diamonds will have to fold uh, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. So immediately you're getting some fold equity and then we got to figure out what we're doing on the turn. And if you can uh, have some confidence in how to proceed on the turn, which I think you generally have a good idea, then maybe you'll be a little less like worried about check raising flop. Like, oh, I raised, of course he continued now we're in this big pot, I'm out of position, I have this crap hand. So let's figure out what we're doing on the turn here. Yes. We have tons of value hands here that are cooler in Ace King. We have King Queen, we have King Ten, we have sets of tens, we have Jack Nine, Ace Jack. And we have all the suited stuff here. He has very little of it. Let's have a party. Check raise. And what was the main size? Did it like um the small. 33 or 55? Small, okay. Small. Yeah, completed equity, primarily small. So he raises back with the set. Jamming jacks is pretty interesting. I don't know if I'd find that. And aces. Uh, well, it's protected by everything else is sets, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, jacks is your bluff. Just like a realization play, like, I have all this equity, I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> let's run it. Yeah, it's like, congratulations, you have king-queen, I, I four-bed jam here, how do you like your king-queen now? <laughs> because you block him having ace-jack and jack-nine when you have jack-jack, so you're you're not afraid of the straight as much. Right. There is a, all of this seems to be insane to me. Normal. Hold on, continue, so, so he plays call. Raise it up. No, no, raise it up and he'll play call. I mean, we can look. Uh, yeah, we can drill it and then look after. Will okay. we pick up equity? The Wait, what do you, before we look. Wait, B, calm down. This isn't, <laughs> this is, we're not going to have bad here. The flush completed. The flush completed, Louis. That's good oh for us. Goodness, that's that's really good. That's less bad. Wait, 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 wait. 25 <laughs> I'm out. I, it's interesting that we hit a four. Let's go. Boom, yeah! A four has nothing to do with this. Four has everything. Flush completed. Flush completed. It's, I think the four is not nothing. Like, if it were a three of spades, I don't know if we're still pure betting. Pure betting. Definitely. Three of spades, you said. All right. Maybe, maybe it's nothing, then. It seems like it should be nothing. When the caller in the three bed pot, the flush completes, we're gonna scan with rain. No, but ninety. It is. It is nothing because all the other. Let's go. Things are rain scan. But, but we have a little more equity when the four turns, right? Like it's still good. So that seems to be a pattern, kind of across all boards, across all positions. Flush complete. You can scan one small for sure. We did scan one small, and here we are. Well, now it's a four line. A jack got there. Yeah. Is that good or bad? <laughs> it gives some more hero call potential, right? It also gives us more fold equity. Right? Yeah. Like how, how's Ace King thinking it's doing now? The flush completed, the straight completed. Like, this is not good for him. I think we're going. Also, yeah, like a 
a bunch of our Jack X bluffs are there now, so it's way harder for us to have a bluff. So we probably have to like bluff all of our our bluffs <laughs> that are still bluffs. Yeah, I mean, you might be able to get away with only doing twenty four here sometimes too, but I'm betting. I'm not checking. Don't, don't Should be good to not on. have a spade. What do you want to bet, Pete? Think all the cookies. I'm yeah. gonna highly mix between twenty four and forty six. Hmm. What is twenty four? Actually, yeah, that's pretty interesting. He'll fold out some. Gets lots of two and... pairs to fold. Huh. What value of ours bets twenty four? Jack no spade. Uh, set. We're gonna have the straight that bets twenty four, and not the flush. Okay. What a set bet seven. Or would a set check? Hmm. Set might check here. It's a four liner, right? I would still block if I had pocket tens. I would block, I think. But uh, yeah, block fold probably. Hmm. Let's go all in. <laughs> I would not go all in here, but you guys do you. Uh, you could bet twenty four then. You want to go all in? Yeah, let's go. Well, ten nine. Oh, flush. Hmm. Yeah, good line. Um, can we look at a couple other turn cards really quickly, just to get a little bit of an idea? So we looked at the low flush completer. We're just range bluffing. I believe Range any betting. flush card will be the same. Let's look at a non. Let's look at a four of um diamonds. Four diamonds, you're gonna do nothing. Mm -hmm. Except now the four is relevant because look at ace four. Yeah, well, we check raised and we picked up equity, so it's one of our hands that continues bluffing. You could hit another four and end this man's world. <laughs> yeah. How do you like your ace king? We took the dog for a run run with two fours. <laughs> that guy's going to uh, lose his mind. Uh, you guys are criminals. <laughs> oh, look. When I play you, pots like that and, and you get these runouts and you stack the guy, it's like the most fun thing ever. The nice thing about playing like 100, 150 bigs deep is it's all just chip EV. Once you learn that, like, how do you go from betting two on the flop to playing for stacks? It's, you know, you got to change your strategy and how you play these, these boards. I love playing deep stack. Oh, call. Got a call, right? Easy call. Oh, look at this. Printing. Printing. Look at this, Pete. Yeah. Majority fold. Easy call. Um. Mm, okay, well, easy call. We're still call ahead here. jam if we ever have fold equity. Want to get it in? Um, what's he I, bet folding for one? <laughs> I think we have higher equity draws that would do this, and things that have less showdown. So like it's a higher seven, equity eight, draw here. Seven eight of diamonds. Mm, that's fair. We can hit a king or queen still if we play call. King high could be ahead. And because stack the pot is less than one, we're just gonna donk jam. When we hit the king. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Probably. Check, check. You might win with king high here occasionally. Okay. Easy fold. You don't call? Nope. No. We have lots of better stuff here to call with. Never mind, you can call. <laughs> Check jam. Yeah, probably. 
Nice ball, Jam. Jam. Both good. Yeah. Good turn. No oh, jam. Oh, he found he found the trap. <laughs> oh, only Louis like finds we're, the we're never folding, right? So it doesn't matter if we yeah. check or jam, right? It doesn't matter. Louis lets the guy desperation bluff the queen jack here. Of what course. a genius! Of course, snap it off. He's probably. Let me show you. <laughs> he trapped us. Oh. <laughs> Uh, check raise SPR's one fifth and check trap the turn. <laughs> Why? Um, hmm. This was interesting. I was wondering if we were going to check raise that flop. Why? I don't see any merit in check raising on this board. Uh, we have three to the straight and three to the Broadway. This is the unique combination. No spade the... in your hand, you're going to shenanigan. And the ace high heart, which can double barrel the turn. Can't be good. Can it? Maybe. I think it's a call or never a race. Okay. Uh, no, you need a spade to race, dude. That's what I thought. The ace of hearts. Just the ace of hearts and the jack of spades. Okay. Just call? Oh, not even. I'll use. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh. Stock ten percent. We have more bears, right? I don't think we have trip boards. Oh no. no. Oh, three three bet pot were the caller. Yeah. He's the range advantage. He's the nut advantage. So just yeah. check call. Yeah. Call or raise? Call one. Can't raise. Can't call. You can call. Is it because of the eight X or do you fold a lot of like would you fold a ten of hearts? No, you don't. Yeah, you're just you're just calling your best broadways here. Look at all the look at all the pairs that just fold. Yeah. The house. Wow. It's funny. I... Yeah, you, you just flop a full house and fold it. it. It's it's all about blocking the top of value here. And so yeah, you'd rather call with ace jack than pocket sevens. Hmm. <laughs> Three bet bot. Uh, what? That one. Who's check? I'm checking. No. Okay. Yeah. But we show. Let's let's uh, stack off in the ace. Call the three bet, and then yeah. Of course, <laughs> there's no solution. No, no. We three bet him, or no? He three bet us. Mm -hmm. no, we were in we the blind, call. and we called. It was blind versus blind. Oh yeah, I, I thought it was button uh, big blind. Yeah, I thought so too. But at that SPR, we're never folding kings, even if an ace comes, right? Yeah. yeah. Ugh, hang around one street. That SPR, we're also never calling the kings. Pretty. Would you hang around with ace jack here? Uh, not without a spade. So, do you think we need a spade here? Yeah. Not with ace king. Spade an eight or a seven. But ace king can continue. Ace queen mixing. Ace king, you got ace king. You don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised That's the nut hall carries. <laughs> Ooh. And it's too good to bluff. Check win. Check lose. <laughs> Check if he checks back, we win. If he bets, we lose. <laughs> oh, what a gross flop catch response! No speed. You we call lose. with the speed, right? 
You don't call him with a spade. You could call with a spade, surely. Negative. Give him the give. Look at if you have Ace of Spades, you can for sure hear this. Negative. If you have Ace of Spades, do you turn it into a bluff? You could, but for sure. Yeah, good luck, man. Ace of Spades. The Ace printing. King. Printing. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. Look at that Ace of Spades turning itself into a bluff. You can try that and let me know if it works. No, nah, usually they just have like um eights or something, but <laughs> no, it does work because they show up with stuff that they basically just have to bluff. Okay. Like you force yeah. them into a hole where they have queen jack high, <laughs> and and you like haven't bet them off it, and they're just here sitting with queen jack high on the river, and they just have to bluff. Ah, uh, so what this is is they must have limped the button, and we raised from the big blind, and they called. Ooh. Just a check. Hmm. I think it's a check call. Can we ever jam? Is that crazy? You want to call? Feels pretty crazy. Yes. Uh, want to jam into Pocket King? Uh, you want to jam? jam feels better than hand? fold to me. J like. It's not, that's because it's not a fold. It surely feels better than folding. Too much equity here. Just got a pure one. If you had pocket high? jacks, what would you want to do? Yeah. I'm raising. Yeah, 33. I would call here. Or <laughs> It's just their stacks. Size is so small. It's just. <laughs> yeah, stack the pot less than one. You just turn top pair. Oh, good luck. I went into torch mode there for a moment. Oh, GG. It's okay. We got there, had some suck out equity. <laughs> okay. Caller raise. Oh, oh man. He three bet us UTG UTG one. This oh, it is. You're this right. is nightmare street. Let's call. Want to raise yeah. or want to call? Call. Let's call. Well, I guess you, I we wanted know. to find out now. <laughs> he's got it. Raise a queen. <laughs> yeah, like the, you. <sighs> problem is he three bets all the better stuff here. Right, it's weird because he he doesn't have ace ten. But maybe what you just the can't. Hell? Um, why are you checking? We were the caller in the three bet pot and we called the flop. No, you played raise on the. Oh, no. wait, what? I thought yeah. we played raise. Sorry. Oh. Uh, interesting. And then now this. Well, the nine improves every like everything around the eight six that we have. We have some nine ten suited. We have some eight nine suited. That might be it. I guess crucially, it also doesn't improve anything he has. So like, all of our check calls have now either like improved or not been downgraded, and all of his flop bluffs have not improved at all. Like he needed a Broadway card. I guess it also puts money in the pot. Doesn't just let him check back and realize equity. Jeez. Well, yeah. So the reason is because the now like the ranges have shifted. If we go and look at the ranges tab you'd see on the graph that we have a range advantage probably and that's a common thing in three bet pots but usually not on a side boards that i've seen but like when you play check call and the turn is like either a brick or something that connects with your range better as the caller and like doesn't improve the the three betters bluffs you actually do get quite some donking I'm giving up this one. You could raise here, I think. I actually like a raise here with the nine backdoor flush. It's it's just too early position, right? It's UTG one against low jack. 
range okay, is fair. Wait, what? All right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm folding king nine suited pre there, which is why, like, yeah. well, you're sixty deep, right? You can't fold. I'm still folding. I don't mess around early, early. I mess around where they're messing around, and then I can still pull flop shenanigans and stuff, and I don't have to be like, oh, I can't check raise my king nine because we're low jack under the gun. Like, no, I'm just going to fold pre then. Just forget that. Okay. Yeah, good. Easy pulled. Mm hmm. Danny's never here. I'm never here. How are we here? The guy made it how much pre? Hold on. Yeah. yeah he made it 6.3. Like we started the hand with 25. How are we here? King, king nines. Listen, king this nine. is king nine. We want to flop a king and lose to ace king, king queen, or what? I don't get it. We flop two nines. We flop a king and suck out on jacks, I guess. Is queen, also... jack, ten. What a disaster. Check fold. And we're getting some terrible flops the last couple hands. They're easy to play. Oh, Ouch. this is going to be different. What? We call the three bet. Now we just go like, ha ha. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> you know, I called your three bet and everything, but now how about. <laughs> How about this percent pot? We've got a spade, Louis. Respectful Louis. pranking. Jesus Christ, he's gonna just demolish. Short stacks it. are weird. No, he's not demolishing at all. He's just falling. Jeez. Of course, he wants to yeah, keep you us. You think wide. my opponents are flatting his queen? <laughs> for sure. I hope they do for them. Oh! <laughs> you have the deck read. So we lead now, right? I think we, we're going to check here quite a bit. I'm leaning. Oh, you want to check, check, ah. flop. Look oh at God. this. Oh, I thought we changed our move to Doc, but I guess we didn't. Uh, no, he always confuses me, too. I have to look up at the bar up there to see. He folded for one bet. Yeah. Yep. What a guy. Check okay. back and fold. So I guess we should have bet range. That price, do you guys have any <sighs> king here? Yeah. Rank it. Rank the wrapper. And let's rank it. It's just a queen, right? It's not an ace. All right. It's over. Ranks over. Check Is over. it? Because we still got chips. <laughs> we didn't turn a 10, though. We didn't. We, we needed to hit a... Still Kang got chips, Sammy. That button nine. When's, oh. when's late registration? Are we still able to no, late no, no, reg? No. We get a cycle fold, maybe. We we needed to turn a spade. We needed to turn straight draw. It's just goodbye. Okay. Okay. I always forget about the spade. Seven spades, sick. Oh. Um. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna call this. Jack's pretty poisonous, but we can still hit a seven, a six, a diamond. Turn an eight. I'm not done with this hand. Okay, just call. Yeah. Um, UTG. I just don't think we have enough fives in our range to donk here. I would check. Because if a nine or an eight bear, we would do it. Maybe you know. No, it hasn't been popular, right? Do it. Love it. Um, uh, oh no, Scotty wants a punt. We, we definitely have to punt, punt here. I want to punt. Are we punting from our own goal line or are we punting from like the 50 yard line? 
We're punting from the 48 yard line. Okay. So Scotty's going like you're going 15 here. Oh, 22. Oh, right. Um, I am punting. Can we not jam? I don't need to two X punt here. There's so I get so much value from his from 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 just getting an ace jack to fold that I don't have to bet. I just have to get that to happen. I don't have to get a pair to fold to get value. All right, let me let me go down the train of thought here. Do you think okay. we have jams for value here? No. Five X. We, because we're opening from under the gun, we don't have enough 5x. Oh, I'm just neglecting the positions. Okay, under the gun, low jack. Okay, okay. No value, James. Okay, I am fair giving enough. Up yeah, I would agree with that. I'm giving... What about uh, ace five suited? We might even four bet pre, yeah. Or, or, yeah, like ace five suited. Mm. So we have two combos. We have pocket tens. That's about it. What about a. Yeah. I'm gonna go third or or a sixty. Thirty-four or sixty. You gotta bluff this hand. Right? We're bluff. We're bluffing. You can give up with you can give we're up with like King Jack Louie. You can give up with all the stuff with worse blockers, you can give up and with potential slivers of showdown value. But this is like nine high. I don't think you have a worse hand in range, which that's where I was going with my train of thought is if we have any value jams, we probably want to use this as a bluff jam because it's our worst hand in range. We have nine a high. It doesn't ace. get worse. Yeah, really strong. It's it's funny. Nine eight suited and ace king off are our value bluffs or our gem or uh, our bluffs. Ace king off. Look at yeah, that. Turns it into a bluff. That's the second worst hand in range. No pair. Ace king. Second worst hand in range. Interesting. Unintuitive. I mean, maybe intuitive <laughs> but unnatural when you think about ace king, right? Like, you don't yeah. think about it as the second worst hand in your range. But here we are. And we do have the ace five a little bit, which we can jam, which allows us to jam the nine eight a little bit. What well, did you call? Back top, you check back top pair on the turn. King queen. King queen. Can you just look really quickly at his response to a jam? King queen's probably gonna still call, but yeah, it should. But like, uh, folding tens. Yeah, he folds the tens. Pocket nines. Pocket Jack is folding. He calls pocket sevens because he knows we have eight nine in range, but folds eights and nines. <laughs> <laughs> but Jack. I was kind of wondering about Queen Jack, but it, it makes the cut. Even ace ten a little bit. Cool. Check in the call. Oh. Ooh, gross. I think it's fine, no? Yeah. Uh, I mean... Just fold. Just fold second pair. Just fold. You oh, you want to get crazy, huh? Just fold second pair with, with an inside straight draw. Just fold it. We have enough straights and flushes to defend here. I don't think yeah. we need to defend this. Do we not call once? No. I like raising more than calling. Don't fold it. We have, we have some two pairs and sets that get to continue here in the in the check call on the line. He had, he donk. had he any had donks a... about? Any donks before you click check? So. I don't think so. 6 4 oh. deuce, not connected enough? Or... Nope. They need three connected. Peter, uh, no, thoughts? Too. I'm. Uh, I like the. I like the donk here. There's something here. Because no. mm -hmm. you don't really want to check raise. You don't really want to check call. You don't really want to check fold. It's like a very nice hand to kind of fit in to a donk range. 
assuming it's a donk board, which it is robustly. It is. This board, you don't even need to have a hand to donk. You don't need a donk hand. But like probably all of those combos are containing one or two spades and two hearts. Now we're cooked. We could have donked in one, but now we're cooked. Jack fold. Yeah. Yeah. You missed your chance. <laughs> we still might win if we just river a jack here. That's fair. Ooh, the flush completed. Okay. Is this even? Check, 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 check. Ah. Hmm. We would have gotten him. Yep. He might have hero called you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Dark check. Board. Check fold. Huh. Yeah, it could be like a zero EV call against even up to like. I mean, our, yeah, the blockers are okay here. Okay, you have to call once for sure. No, you have to call once for sure. You can't fold. You still have odds to set mine, man. You bet 10th pot. You hit an 8. Easy game. Then you lose to queens, but it's okay. Come here. See the sliver? <laughs> He's a liver in a sliver. You can't. Even if he bets quarter pot, you have to call. You like fold pocket tens, fold pocket nines, and then you Listen, start calling. Turn is gonna be an eight. River is gonna be an ace. Learn, you're gonna lose to the street, right? No. Take, take it easy. Ah, we're yeah, pretty connected here. And nines, you fold the tens and nines because they complete the straight one. When you no, when they they block too many of his bluffs. And also, yeah, like if you have a ten and you hit the ten, and he he'll have he has yeah. like full ace king in range, right? That makes Broadway. But mm -hmm. also, so yeah, it's two things: like the eight's a cleaner out, and you unblock his king ten, king nine, ace ten, ace nine type stuff that you're still ahead of. Okay. All right. That king nine of hearts again. So king is the worst card in a three bet pot. Flush is good. Check. We want to bet, no? Flash, oh. The flash is in? It's The king is the worst card in a three-bet pot, right? Yeah, but still, whenever the flush came, we had longs from with rain, no? Louis, describe describe king nine on a board of king, queen, jack, if you have to put it into premium. I know, I know. I know. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is every time we were the caller and the flush completed, we were... Uh, Somehow up to no good with range. Is this yeah. uh, another... I would bet here. Okay. Personally, half pot, yeah. No, it's just a check. Well, not even close. King's the worst, but at this SPR, like... Hmm. Just don't get the bet at King. It's the worst card for us. We check jam then? No. Yeah, even the like the ace of spades is better here than the king. Yeah, of course he checks back. Now you can okay, bet. now we're all in. Now you can bet. Yeah. Ugh. Or do we not even have to go all in, maybe? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get some value, like five. And get called by a weak jack, even smaller. Yeah, He's trying to get go. called by jack high. There you go. Can you look really quickly if he bets the turn? Do we jam or call? I think you jam it. You call your like. Go to the hijack and then see what his most frequent bet size is. And give him a little bet for Danny. If we have like ace jack, ace of spades, we can call. a lot of 25%. Our response with the K9 is pure call. Pure call. 
Only raising king queen. Too fair. It's not even raising king jack or king six. We're like way more torched here than I would think. Yeah. And you full king seven. I gotta recalibrate to these small stack three bet pots. I'm not used to being here. Ooh. Check raise. Um, is this a check jam? It's gonna be hard for equity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're I think lovely. this is similar to the other one where, like, if you have the queen of spades, you probably get to play call a little bit or, like, raise small more. And then with no spade, you just ram it. Yeah. Cause, like, there's going to be less good turns. Uh, probably just a fold. We got a mock here. Yeah. Printing the fold. Uh, is this gonna check jam? Check jam, huh? Yeah. Yeah, easy call. Show your ace ten. Check fold. Uh, well, I don't know about that. We're a hundred big blinds deep. What about this size? All right, that size is big enough to make me fold. I think even small beat we fold. So king I board. Pretty bad, no? King is bad. Yeah, probably. Yeah, even if it again twenty five percent. Louis Deuce in a three bed pot. Yeah. Overfold against the king. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. No, no. Yeah. Oh my gosh. At least he didn't raise. We're still here, Pete. Oh, the news. Boom. That's how it works, Peter. <laughs> right. Well, now, right. Now you just got a call. No. I don't think so, Pete. He's polarizing on a king e three two. What are you afraid of? Was it ever flop? I'm having internet issues. I, I'm. You know what? Uh, what I'm afraid of here, Pete. I'm gonna tell you. He, him checking back on the river is what I'm afraid. Of. Yeah, it was seventy percent call or seventy percent fold, twenty percent call, like seven percent prank. So I'm definitely going on in here uh, every time. It's bottom set. So if he's bluffing here, what bluffs can he call you with? I don't think he has much bluff on a deuce turn. I think he has value. It's not, he's double barreling. It's a king eye board. Great for him. I think he's paying off with whatever shenanigans he was betting with on the turn. Okay. But you're all but you're gonna fold out all his bluffs here, but you don't think he has any. Oh, it's just yeah. about you're all right. Yeah. Like you want like you're fine to run it against his value. No card can come on the river that can make you fold. You want to jam here or you check in your face at no, that? Check. It's a super brick. There you go. Oh my goodness. Happy days. I get fours. <laughs> he wheeled you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, Pete, he's not going to wheel me. Oh, he's going to fold that on the turn when you yes. check raise. Yeah, yes. okay. You got him. Sometimes you got it's, me. Sometimes it's better. All right, I'm checking out early. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, have a good Great one. Great session. Lee. See ya. Thanks. Uh, did we check? That's small.
So full day say, I say call with day 10. Um, I don't know. Yeah, interesting one. Oh, I was wondering, okay. like, this feels like it should be maybe good enough. But then where do you draw the line? There's no line. Everyone gets in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have fun. Buckle up. Oh, boy. Open chat. What do you do here? Open jam or check and phase a dance? Oh, this is a fun one. I'm open jamming for sure. Turn one, check, check. Yeah. So that's one mm, of the. Check one. could be really interesting. Let him bluff some things, right? You don't bluff the river often enough. I just don't. Okay, well, ace queen got there and we'll pay off. Jack 10, we'll check back either way. Pocket jacks, we lose, doesn't matter. Mm. If he has like king jack, he'll probably pay. Yeah, just ship it, I guess, right? Yes. Yeah. Get out. Mm, yeah. Do you call it 10 9 of club? Oh, for half pot? Uh, yeah, I think you call once. Can we look, though? I had a spot like that a day or two ago, and I wasn't sure. The nine of clubs is folding. Okay. Diamonds and spades, though. Yeah, I had the back door in my one. Ten eight is full frequency. The nine is bad. But ten is bad. How about Jack Ten? Full freak? Oh no. Mm, not quite even. Okay. Check and call the men now. We check and call the man down. <laughs> Gotta lose more money. And then seven. And check to and lose call the, the man most down. money. If he jams, you might get to fold. I am calling the man down. All right, call. Oh the my down. goodness! I think this is one of your leaks. I think. <laughs> Why? It's a three bet pot. I think we fold. Exactly, it's a three bet pot. Yeah, we fight. It's more like, look at the aces. Your one pair is no good. It's 50-50 here, man. I see two pair, two pair. Zero EV, zero EV, zero EV, zero EV. Ace three must like unblock a bunch of bluffs somehow. Look, you have to find some calls with King X. I don't think you're going too wrong if you only call two pair here in game. I don't know. Are they over bluffing here? Maybe on this board, on this run out, you get some over bluffers. At this SPR, in a three bet pot, you almost never hold up there. All over, you, no matter you begin the scenario. 50 deep, right? Yeah, 60, like, 50, 60. as you see, man, it's mixing, right? I have D combo that isn't playing, right? But it's mixing for a So moment. hover the ace-8. Are diamonds bad then? Probably? No. Or hover no. ace-8. Which one's call? Oh, it's just the same. All right, all right, all right. You know, it's a zero EV, but you have to know where your zero, the, the floor is. And the floor is you don't get to really full top pair. Now I would make an adjustment. I would make two adjustments here against my opponent and then his bad size as well. You know, because if it goes past 23 bigs, like uh, top pair to kicker is never good. 
But against the machine, I, mean, I ain't gonna fold out there. They just should have like ace king, ace queen, ace jack. A lot. Razor call. Pick Razor. Too many bad cards. Just yeah. stuff it. Not a little. Yeah, same thing. Oh, that's tough. Nah. To dry a board. If you go little, you get to bluff some stuff. You can have raise folds. <laughs> oh, look at this. With 10-8. An another spot where we have some a little bit of leading. Huh. I would just call. Here. Probably just clicking him in theory, but... Wow, well, the click's Maybe. pretty big, actually. Always click. Flush complete. We go in? Yeah, we go in. It's 40%. It's so ridiculous. Gotta protect. King, queen with the king of... Oh. Okay. Ay, caramba. Okay, we just forward. We lead or no? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. We could. It was a sliver. Does that mean some of our range does it here? Well, as you know, I saw one aggregated report where it was donking a lot of mono boards like this here, fifty percent of the time. The ace. What is it? Ace low low. Then he can't have flopped the nut flush. King low low. Yeah, the like king four deuce mono, I don't get that. Well, it's the same. Blocking the king eye flush, right? Yeah, but. I don't know. Peter was saying king high. King is like the worst card for us as the caller. Yeah. And then, so it's the worst card. And then, so, like, SPR is small. We'll have every nut flush still. Yeah, we just don't care. King five four. King it's a prank. Five, I don't six. think he double barrel or anything. It's a one and done. You're just testing the waters. Like, say his board is ace five three. The guy has two black jacks. Maybe he folds right away. Especially population. You know? Do we have fives and threes? And do, yeah. like, we have those sets, I guess, right? And yes. Deuces, even, and fours, like, that make gutters. And yeah, we must be donking all that crap. Don't have deuces or trees. Okay. Mm, check for check and then drill. Check again, though. Right? No, we can leave. Oh, we drilled it. If he had bet flop, do That's we go with him? I, I would raise him right away. Yeah, I'm on board, right? I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the board. How can we not? You need to raise him right away here. How can we not? So you say that I don't raise enough turns? I raise this one for sure. 
can you look really quickly if he bets flop what we do do we just call of course we call do we jam i could see it jamming no we just call am i going crazy again yes i think it's an okay jam no because he will big bet no 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 look at the size he'll big bet Crazy. And then you just don't have calls. Will Well, he big bet? Let's test my it, it is on supposition. the big bet now. Yeah, yeah, but look at his strategy. We didn't actually see what he does in practice. Oh, no big bet. <laughs> All right, so you can call or jam. We're both okay. You want to call and drill it. I want to jam, get it in bad, and then drill it. That way I can drill it on the river, you know? I don't have to drill the turn. And you have some full liquidity. Exactly, exactly. And he'll call sometimes with ace-king and stuff that you are ahead of. What do you say here? Raise or call? Oh, we have the nuts. We have the spade. We have the jack of spades specifically, not the ace. So maybe you pure call with the ace. You mix call and raise small with the jack. And... I think Uh, we've got when you to have raise. no spade, you always raise small. I think we gotta raise this. We just call the pots control on the turn, and we're on the river. Well, SPR is always gonna be one, right? So, I guess we can we can just call, play the turn. Half and half. Yeah. Pretty good one. All in. No, and See, now that's do why we I didn't go want. all in? Yeah, of course. Was it planned? Of course. Oh, Of course of course. not. Of course not. <laughs> it's a weird one where he kind of capped himself, right? On the turn, he's very capped. Ten percent. So it's very tough for him to call a jam. Yeah, I think we were trying to induce, and by some miracle, he did it. <laughs> he either had a trap. He's going to have the same hand with a heart. Watch. All right, now let's look at flop strat like, um, very quickly. If we have no spade, do we, we it's probably like 80% raise. And then with the ace of spades, it's probably like almost pure call. This man checked back king queen. What a savage. We don't have that in our game. Me and you, at least. Why are you giving out Um, all the great secrets, Sammy? all right, so ace of spades, pure call, jack of spades. Yeah, it's it's the same heuristic. This is a good one to pick up in these short stack. Like when you have a really good hand, the amount that you trap relies on the flush cards that you have and how like the rank of them. Like when you get the nut flush card, you just pure trap every time. Oh, hello. Just a smooth call. Smooth criminal. Yes. <laughs> Check call donk your boat. Come on, SPR <laughs> of one. Ooh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Push. Jam. Got to I want jam. to check. No. I want to No. check, baby. Look at this king. It's the king principle, right? This is like the best card for him. The flush hit. If he has anything. What the heck? I was going to say, if he has nothing, he should bluff. And then he had nothing, and So he didn't here's bluff. my case against the solver. He plays perfectly, right? That means he Yeah. calls probably too often, right? And then also, if we check, he's going to play back perfectly. So it's like there's no even checking. And then maybe if we jam, he calls a little bit too often. But with value, I would try to explore the solver by jumping. What are you saying the solver calls too often? Too too often against you because you're not bluffing enough. More often than population. But that doesn't mean you should take a hand that makes a great trap and start jamming it. I think so. Well, maybe. Who knows? Check Because back. he also bluffs more than population, and he also like finds thinner value jams more often than population. Yeah. Well, you see our cards too. But on that one, but on that particular river, doesn't he just check back 
everything except for a flush? I think he should bet, like, king-queen for sure. Am I tripping? Uh, next hand. Like, ace-king, king-queen, I think, will value jam. But maybe king-queen, no spade, checks back. And then I would have expected his queen-8 to bluff, but probably because he had hearts. It's, like, one of the worst ones. Uh... He should be Let's great see. for him. I expect for them to be betting a lot. Ace King checking back half the time. Hmm. All right. Well identified, Scotty. Maybe we're trapping too, too much stuff here. Well, we I really mean, want to get maybe him. I was wrong. I was wrong against the solver because the solver didn't jam. I was talking about solver slash population that that card freezes uh, freezes them, and so we have to jam. If we jam, um, yeah, if, if we jam, is there stuff they call that they wouldn't jam themselves? And I guess if you argue king-queen and ace-king, those are the hands probably. I mean, here he yeah. doesn't have king-queen because yes, he blocked the turn. I think that he calls, I think he calls a lot of king here that he doesn't, he not only doesn't jam, he, that he just won't doesn't. put in. Yeah. He could even hero queens with this. No, he, he wouldn't check that. But tens? Would he ever hero tens? He might not check that back either. Louis, look when we jam. What's the theory call range? Final rabbit hole. He calls too much. He's calling yeah, those, seven. Those eight, even then... ace king is folding some frequency, though. Right, but is King Jam? But is but is isn't Ace King doing a lot of checking back? I want to capture EV from his pocket seven with the seven of spades. Is that too thin? Thin armor than my hairline? It's a tiny little sliver of the one combo that makes it there. <laughs> All right, it was a nice. You have to look seven. at like the offsuit stuff. <laughs> nine, queen nine, king nine, queen nine. Holy jeez, look at that. All right, let Louis wrap it up, and then we can rabbit hole more. Cheers, Louis. Hey, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good one.